Troost Avenue has been in the news a lot in 2018, but the most exciting news isn't about the progress with the buildings, it's about the growth in people's hearts, people that will never make the front page of the newspaper. We are excited to share with you in this short video the amazing things that your gifts have made possible at Reconciliation Services in 2018. Thelma's Kitchen opened. It is a Donate What You Can Cafe. People come from all walks of life, neighbors, clients, businesses, corporations. We're giving all people a really wonderful chance to come in and have a great meal. The importance of Thelma's Kitchen that we have identified is that we have what we call community stewards. These community stewards are able to identify some of the individuals that have emotional challenges while they are visiting a Thelma's Kitchen. Through a team of caring case managers and social workers, we provide emergency services. So when someone has an emergency need, they may come to us because they need something as crucial as an ID in order to get a job, assistance paying for their water bill, the Kansas City Medicine Cabinet. Because of the historic disinvestment uh, in our community, there's a lot of trust that is broken. So the work of reconciliation involves repairing broken trust. And that is really accomplished through the emergency services program. And that also creates an opportunity for us to begin a, a deeper relationship. Reconciliation services has developed a continuation of care in that through the short-term case management services, individuals are referred to reveal program because as we start uncovering some of those other needs we're going to realize some systemic patterns that are really rooted in trauma really rooted in generational patterns uh, and family patterns the beginning of the year we um, decided to change our trauma and depression uh, program name and we changed it to the Reveal. So once a person comes into the Reveal program, um, they have the option of individual therapy, a group therapy, and then we also have case management services. Reveal stands for restore, engage, value, encourage, act, and lead. And these are the fruit that we're hoping each person will get as a result of the work that we've done together. If there are individuals who are at the recommended age to participate in foster grandparents program, then we refer that to the foster grandparents team. Our foster grandparent volunteers are the matriarchs and patriarchs of our community. They are a self-selected group of people who are giving back to the community in their senior years. So they are the folks that their own family and friends go to for help. One of the things we're doing this year is we're working with the RS Reveal team and a whole group of foster grandmas are going through the Reveal class. And through this process, we are training and equipping them to take ownership of their own trauma as well as being able to change the narrative in their communities with their own families, with their own friends. So we are affecting real change. We are equipping them so they can equip others. You're helping to make reconciliation between individuals and families, even the whole community, more of a reality today than it was yesterday. You're turning individuals into advocates for their own families and their own communities. It starts with relationships. It starts with making a place and a time for each other. So I invite you to do just that in 2019. Come, be a part of this team. Join us in our wild belief that reconciliation is really possible in Kansas City.